Hi, welcome back to Me's Trailer Rehab. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. If you like my video from last week, my banana nut bread, and you just found it very, um, if you tried it and you decided to try that recipe and it was delicious to you, please give us the video a like and a thumbs up. Um, versus um, regular flour, versus if you already tried to make banana nut bread in the past and you tried the the regular flour versus the whole wheat flour. Comment below and let me know, um, is there a big difference in the flavor? To me, I found it extre extremely um, much flavorful in all that stuff. So moving along um, to, to today's recipe, I'm gonna bring you something really healthy that I got from Natasha's Kitchen. Uh, she inspired me. It may not be exactly the way she did it, but I just thought it was very, very um, delicious. Um, I'm gonna be trying this recipe actually um, and what you're going to do is what this recipe is a avocado tuna salad so i thought this was like oh my gosh i never thought to mix those two together to make guacamole because i make guacamole all the time i use avocados all the time um just her way of making avocado was just so delicious um she has a lot of videos go check her out um so but this um t this week i'm going to be bringing and sharing this from my kitchen to yours the avocado tuna so let's get this um, party started so first things first I'm going to um, what you're gonna need is avocado um, I'm gonna use two avocados again um, to choose an avocado you want to get a ripe avocado um, sometimes I get green avocado so that because sometimes I don't make avocado guacamole because I love making guacamole and chips um, so I don't make it right away so I like to buy them pretty firm and already not so that they can sit a couple of days in it right but you want to get one that's pretty much firm mushy a little soft but not too soft because you don't want it to be ripe um, you don't want it to be rotten rather and um, you're gonna take a knife and you're just pretty much gonna slice it in half um, just to get the, the avocado to open and you should get a pretty green color like this um, and to take this seed out you take your knife and you just kind of twist it and it should pop right off get a paper towel or something like that in nature and just take it right off of there and it should come off right and you dispose this in the trash okay so that we have our avocados we have our tuna i'm just going to do one can of tuna you want to have some fresh cilantro i love 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 cilantro that's one of the um one of the herbs i'm going to be growing in my garden i'm going to go out there i'm so excited to get out there it's officially springtime so cilantro is going to be one of my major things that i'm going to be putting in the garden i'm going to be using some organic black pepper it's preferably to use fresh lemon but i decided to get some real lemon juice so you can substitute for that i did this round this time around i'm only going to use about like a teaspoon or half a teaspoon or one fourth teaspoon of onion um you can use um purple onion red onion you can use white onion whatever you choose um i just found when i use a lot of onion it just takes away from the texture but i do like hot onion um very nicely i'm going to go ahead and dice this up very finely um, chop up the um, the um, onion um, just to give it that slight little favor because I think fish and onions just do so good as a combination together but not so much in the guacamole if you want to put some so I'm just gonna start scooping my um first um, I'm gonna go ahead and dump the tuna I get 10 um, or can um, drain tuna a tan a tan no not beach yet so I'm gonna get some tuna and I'm pretty much going to um, put that in my mixer first and then I'm going to scoop out my avocado it's whichever you prefer no um, particular um, way of doing so um, you can do the avocado first you can do the tuna first whichever you prefer so this is going to be pretty chunky pretty creamy and I'm going to be using two um, avocados and you're just going to take a large spoon and scoop out the 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 meat of the avocado sort of say and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, scoop that in the bowl along with the tuna and I'm telling you it's gonna be so delicious so you don't want it to and I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle this pretty much you're just combining all the ingredients in one and okay so you have that and then what I'm going to do is I got a little you 
her recipe, she wanted, she used English cucumbers, but to me, I don't really care for English cucumbers. I've tried them in the past. Um, they're not really my fave, um, but I do like English. I, I love cucumbers, um, another garden fave. Um, but I'm gonna add some cucumbers to this, just some regular um, cucumbers. You can use the English, because that's what her recipe called for. But again, I like to really, um, make this towards my taste buds and you can make it towards your taste buds too as well So um, I'm just going to go ahead and take this fork and just kind of mash it and cream it all together the um, The avocado is going to serve as a you know how when you make tuna um, You know you use mayonnaise or whatever so the The avocado is pretty much the fattening of the whole thing like the mayonnaise sort of say so I'm just going to just coarsely um, mash this together um, mix it together um, I'm not really if you can look and see I'm not really mixing the cucumbers and I'm kind of like keeping them set aside a little bit I'm just mainly combining the tuna and the avocados together to give it that creamy consistency And then I will lightly fold the the cucumber. Um, and I use like a quarter cucumber, not really much, just to give it a mild crunch um, in, in, in this salad. Um, I'm telling you, it's just a, a healthy way of eating. Um, cucumbers are very alkalizing to your body. Um, and avocados are very healthy fat, fats that you can add to your body. Okay, so you want to take like a small tomato. I'm going to be using aroma tomatoes. Um, I find aroma tomatoes are very um, um, easy to work with as far as just um, making salads and things of that nature. I love them. Um, so I'm going to dice up a small aroma tomato and add this to the mixture. I'm telling you, avocado and tomato is such a great combination. And I'm just going to actually fold that into the mixture. Not too, too, too um, heavy, but just very lightly um, fold that into the mixture. And one of my absolute faves, I absolutely love, is the cilantro. You want to just add some green to it. It went with a salad without cilantro. So um, this is going to serve as the green greens in there. Um, I pre-chopped this already. Um, I have some stems in here. But the finer you do it, you can do it however fine. But I found that avocado and cilantro go hand in hand. It's like the new peanut butter and jelly these days. I'm telling you, avocado, cilantro, oh, it is a great, great combination. And to season this very delicious, healthy is, I'm going to add like one tablespoon. Again, I'd be eyeballing this stuff. So you can use fresh lemon. That's like a half a lemon. But I just kind of eyeball it to like one teaspoon to... Um, one teaspoon of lemon juice or fresh squeezed lemon juice is very very good I use garlic salt because I love the flavor of garlic and I just lightly sprinkle to add a little bit flavor to it um, because you know tuna is very very bland and then also I add maybe like one teaspoon of garlic salt and maybe a teaspoon of black half a, half a teaspoon of black organic black pepper and I am telling you, this is a fiesta you don't want to mix. And that's how your salad really wants to look. You want it to look very, very, this is a very healthy salad. Um, and I, you can pair it with some pita chips. Um, me, personally, I love the flavor. Give me the flavor. So what I decided to do is take some of my um, Doritos. I have some Doritos. However many bags. Um, just... A few bags of Dorito chips, whatever you can use in my bowl. And you just can top it like that, I'm telling you. And you have yourself say no more. You have to try this tuna salad. It's absolutely wonderful. It's absolutely delicious. It's like hands down. I love healthy eating. I love healthy recipes. From my kitchen to yours. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Um, please comment below if you tried this recipe or you have a recipe similar to this. What would you do? Um, let me know if you tried this recipe. 
all that good stuff thank you for watching me's trailer rehab and i'll see you in the next video bye for now